All right, guys, so we're going to be getting a brand new update coming out tonight as well as tomorrow night for Dragon Ball Legends weekly reset update. So some stuff is going to be coming out tonight, some tomorrow night, and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what comes out, what we can expect, what we're going to get, as well as everything leaving the game, just to give you guys a full landscape like I do every single Monday here on my channel. So uh, with that being said, if you guys do want to keep getting updated here, just simply like and subscribe, and we should be getting some data mined in a few hours from now, guys. So make sure you guys have those notifications on, and I'll keep you guys updated here on my YouTube as soon soon as we get brand new info and by the way we are officially four weeks away guys from Dragon Ball Legends sixth year anniversary so um, this month of May June July you can expect multiple uploads from me here on my YouTube so uh yeah it's, it's gonna be a wild wild next couple months man it really is but let's get into it guys um so First and foremost, we all know that we're going to get a brand new banner. This actually comes out tonight, right? So uh, not even on the weekly reset update. So um, I don't know why they decided to do this today. It makes no sense as opposed to just a weekly reset update. Uh, maybe because it's the end of the month and sometimes they do stuff like that. But um, yes, I mean, the return of Spirit Bomb GT Kid Goku explains everything I need to know about this banner. The fact that they're bringing back this character here in this banner tells me that they really want people to waste their crystals right before the 60th anniversary. And I am not going to let that happen to you guys. You guys should 100% save and not spend on this banner. Now, this is going to be a sacrifice because Nappa and Vegeta actually look quite good. Um, I just do not like that they're purple because Golden Freeze is purple, but it is what it is. And, uh, Ultra Gohan is not catching any slack as of late, man. He's really not. But um, at the end of the day, I would advise you guys to save. The anniversary is four weeks away, guys. It's going to be the end of May, June, and July. Expect four hype banners back to back to back to back. So um, think ahead and sacrifice today so you guys will be rewarded tomorrow. Okay. So uh, with the banner coming out tonight, also a brand new shop and maintenance. This comes out tonight as well. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and we have that and really quick guys, let me explain to you guys a few things that are going to end. So hyper dimensional co-op is going to end tomorrow night for the weekly reset update. So not tonight, tomorrow night. The only thing that comes out tonight is a brand new shop and the brand new banner. And then tomorrow night is going to be the, uh, the events, right? So we are going to be getting a brand new co-op, which leads me to a very interesting question because, um, this should be where the free to play character that we typically get at the beginning of the month, um, you know, arrives, right? We should be getting, technically speaking, if this was a normal month, we would get a, an event exclusive character, which would hint the next LF character to come out for Dragon Ball Legends. But last year, um, for the beginning of May, they released this right here, right? Which was a small little mini campaign of event exclusive characters, but this got pushed back towards the end of May for the anniversary. So they could definitely be doing the same thing. We could be getting a free-to-play character, you know, uh, tomorrow night, or they could just push this back. For example, where we got uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, as well as the Ultimate Gohan from Terminator Power. So um, they could be taking a page out of the fifth anniversary and doing that, where we get multiple event exclusive characters. So just thought I'd mention that to you guys really quick. Um, okay, so besides all of that, new equipment because we're gonna get a brand new co-op, PVP messages, and maybe a battle royale announcement. Um, hopefully new story mode. I've actually been saving some of my stories because I like to do the stories back to back to back. Just kind of keep keep track of the story so there's no breaks in between too much. So I like to save at least like two to three stories so I can do them all together. So hopefully new story, but I expect something hype to, uh, to be announced very soon for story mode because they typically like to do something special for shallot, uh, story mode and stuff like that once the anniversary comes around. Very similar to last year where we got Super Saiyan Blue shallot and a whole overhaul for, uh, for shallot. So I'm expecting something pretty interesting, maybe even a playable shallot for the six year anniversary is what everybody really wants, right? Um, some side events. Oh, okay. So this is a big one right here. Okay. So, um, the LF pick a banner. So this either comes out tonight or next week. I'm leaning a little bit more towards next week because I, I think I saw somewhere that this campaign lasts um, until the 5th of May. I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, we should be getting this very soon. And uh, we should be getting free tickets for the LF pick a banner where we should be seeing LF PyCon and Gogeta for sure. Um, because of course it was a vote campaign for the top four characters. And I'm assuming 
if people are smart, they voted for LF Picon and Gogeta, right? So yeah, man, things are getting. Oh yeah, and also uh, the uh, one banner ending, which is Ultra Vegito Blue. So yeah, man. I mean, honestly, guys, this banner here, okay, stays until January. So we will have enough time to decide whether or not you got, we should be summoning on LF Nap and Vegeta, whether they're really good, medium, who knows, right? We have time. You don't need to rush summoning on this just yet, especially at the month of the anniversary. This la we'll find out what characters we're going to get for part one of the anniversary, um, you know, by the time this banner ends. So this ends, what, June 5th? So we have over a month of this banner here. And the anniversary should be right here. Let me show you guys. This month right here, I mean this week right here, which is anywhere from the 26th of May to the 31st of May, right? And we should be getting the official announcement and date and trailer of the six year anniversary right over here, um, uh, anywhere between, I don't know, Sunday, May 5th to uh, Saturday, May 9th, right? Um, by the way, Goku Day is gonna be on May 9th this Thursday. And uh, this right here, they typically like to do some stuff for Goku Day, which is really good. Um, so expect some stuff for Goku Day um, on the 9th. But last year, they also announced the 5th year anniversary for Goku Day on the 9th as well. So I'm really excited, guys. I really, really am. I mean, um, also, by the way, this is not Dragon Ball Legends related, but um, they also announced, okay, that tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific time, very early, they're going to be releasing a brand new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero trailer, which I thought I'd mention to you guys since I will be covering the game. I will be live streaming the game as well. So it's going to be a character trailer of Master versus Apprentice, pretty much from what we saw in the um, in the V-Jump scans with Beerus, Whis, and stuff like that. We saw Trunks, Future Gohan, which is really hype. So I'm extremely excited for this trailer. I'll be covering this trailer tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, man, it's going to be a very busy month for me. I do plan on live streaming a lot more for the anniversary and especially when Dragon Ball Sparking Zero comes out. So yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, be smart. We are literally, what, four weeks away from the anniversary. I would consider everybody to skip out on this banner only for pay to play. Then go ahead, do your do your pay to play stuff. I'm a dolphin, and uh, that's basically that basically means that I'll be only summoning on certain certain banners that make sense to me, right? So I'm not I'm not a whale by any means. I do pick and choose some certain sales, and I and I go cautiously, right? So I'm actually. At first, I was thinking about doing a rotation or two of this, but I'm actually just thinking about skipping and saving absolutely everything I can for the six year anniversary, which is just four weeks away because it's May, June, and July, right? But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Comment down below how many crystals do you currently have saved up for the six year anniversary for Dragon Ball Legends? And are you guys going to be summoning on the LF Nappa and Revival Vegeta banner? Comment down below. I love to read your comments and subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And hopefully you guys have a blessed day. And I'll definitely catch you guys tonight for some data mines. So stay tuned with your notifications. Have a good one. Peace.